Hey guys, what's up? It's once again it is mp4podcast.com and this is a simple little video tutorial for people who are doing podcasts. Um, you know, maybe you're doing a podcast with somebody else over Skype. Maybe they're calling in on Blog Talk Radio. Um, maybe somebody's, you know, on Skype on a cell phone. One of the biggest problems is that everybody has different microphones. Everybody has their levels set different at on their microphones. And one of the problems is the levels don't always uh, match up. Of course, you can uh, do this in uh, uh, pre-post. You know, you, you try to get your mic set up as best as you can. Sometimes you can get it right out of the box. But sometimes it, you can. Sometimes it's, it's, it's tricky and so on. So basically what I'm going to do, do is show you how to fix this problem. Now, what I did was, you know, you, know, you wouldn't do this, but I ripped their video. And... What I did was um, I put it in um, Sony Vegas, and what I did was I rendered it out as um, an MP3. So I went MP3, and I just encoded out an MP3. Now, um, the reason why I didn't use AIFF, because AF, it, I, I'm not sure, but I think maybe you can only do like half hour or something uh their podcast is three and a half hours so you're not going to be able to encode a a i f f three and a half file and you can't do that with a wave file what you could do is chop up the podcast um at certain points where people have paused and not talked and then um encode out an a i f f file uh that would probably give you the best audio quality but you know you can probably do pretty good with the uh, mp3 as well you just go into audio and you do highest quality and boom you know you can like this encode it out at uh, 132 kilobits or whatever so you know mp3 is probably fine so you know basically what I did was I got the new mp3 I dumped it into here it gave me a AF uh, IF file whatever um, so what I want to do is just show you uh, the difference um, in the audio levels. Now I haven't changed the audio levels uh, in these two audio tracks. As you can see, they are exactly the same. So we're going to play their version and then we're going to play the remastered version. Go. Really? This is our intro for people? Welcome once again, everyone, yeah, to Panko already 140. <laughs> I got that Four new last level again. where I didn't even remember the number of the show. I'm pretty well, sure it's 144. All right, now you heard that Woody um, sounds a little low, right? So let me just go like this. And now we're going to play the remastered version with Leviator. Go. Really? This is our intro for people? Welcome once again, everyone. Yeah, the tank on already 140. <laughs> I got that Four, new last level again. where I didn't even remember the number of the show. I'm pretty <laughs> well, sure it's 144. 144. All right, so now the audio levels are, are fixed. One of the problems with um, Woody's audio is that for some reason he has a real hiss uh, coming from his microphone. I'm not sure if he's just using like a regular headset for his microphone. Um, uh, wing sounds really clean because he's using a, a Yeti, and I know he does use a pop filter. Um, lefty is using a high-end microphone. Uh, maybe that um, that black thing, whatever you call that, is a dead cat on a phone cat or whatever it is. That kind of muffles the you know the the bad audio out and so on. But what I want to show you is how to do noise reduction. Um, there's a couple of ways um, to a search for noise reduction. And I'm going to leave these videos in the description box. There's a couple of programs. Uh, Floorfish, that's a noise reduction for um, Sony Vegas. Here's a way to do it with uh, Audacity. And here's another plugin for Sony Vegas. Now, the way I did it, it was with uh, Campagia Studio. And Campagia Studio is really easy. All you do is you just drop the video in there and you click noise reduction. And it does a really good job. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this file. Go. 
Really? This is our intro for people? Welcome once again, everyone, yeah, to Panko no, already, 140. <laughs> yeah. I got that Four new headlights moment again. where I didn't even remember the number of the show. I'm pretty well, sure it's 144. 144? I want to yes. say it's 144. What's, what's terribly yeah, troubling? Wrong. There are... All right, so let's let's stop it right there. And we're going to go back. Go. Really? This is our intro for people? Welcome once again, everyone. Now, you can see that it was removed. Now, you have to make the judgment call. Do you want to remove it? Because it will make the audio a little bit more tinny. Um, you can do or do without the, uh, the noise reduction, in my opinion. Um, overall, I would probably not bother with the noise reduction because Woody was kind of low anyway, and he didn't have his levels uh, correct. Uh, so when it fixes his noise reduction, it kind of goes a little bit overboard. Now, if you have really good levels and there's some white noise in the background, then it works um, better. And I do um, use Camtasia no audio noise reduction. But again, I'm only talking to my own microphone, my, my Yeti and so on. And I do have the levels uh, set correctly um, on my Yeti. But... You know, maybe Woody does have his um, level set correctly himself. Maybe it's just a, a, a you know a problem when you have um, four different microphones all coming in through Skype or something like that. So here is the, just some simple ways and how to fix your audio levels. You guys have any questions? Leave a comment below and I'll try to help you guys out. Once again, guys, this has been MP4Podcast.com signing out. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Take care. Take care.